Hello everybody, welcome back to Ray's World. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you are, are set for the holidays and are gonna have a fantastic Christmas. It's coming up fast. So I've watched Coinman5000 and he does his every Friday giveaway. Guys, if you haven't checked that out yet, you really need to because it's, it's a great video series that Coinman5000 does. And he's always separating out his copper. He gets all his copper, he's got a little bucket on the table and he fills it and at the end of the video he pours his copper into his, looks like a three, maybe a five gallon bucket. And I thought that'd be kind of cool, you know, I do a box of pennies a week, maybe two boxes. One week I even did three boxes of pennies and I thought that'd be kind of cool to save all of my copper for one year and just see how much I get. But I don't want to separate it by hand. I don't like doing that. I don't look at the years when I hunt pennies. To me, it, it, it probably doesn't take a whole lot of time, but it's just not something that I wanted to do. And I can't afford a Rydell coin separator, not to just kind of separate pennies for a year just to see. That just doesn't make good sense. Those things are like four or $500. So I wanted to get a coin separator. There's really nothing out there. I couldn't find anything that would separate copper from zinc. And then I remembered a couple of years ago, I saw this video and it was from Cody's lab and I love it. If you guys aren't subscribed to Cody's lab, you're missing out. The guy is brilliant. And I saw, I thought, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna build one of those. He has another video in which he uses these little 10 by, I think these are 10 by three mil or 10 by two mil neodymium magnets and he, he demonstrates the properties of a gas in a chamber where he places them between two planes of glass and they repel each other. And that was a really sweet video as well. Basically, when you take a metal like copper and you pass it between an electro, a magnetic field, it slows down. Is it diamagnetic? I can't remember. I'm not gonna get too technical, but the copper reacts with the magnetic field and it, it slows down. He's got a really cool video too of passing a, a silver coin between a vise that has neodymium magnets. And this coin just falls very, very slowly between these. I wanted to build one. And so, as you see, I've got 10 copper pennies and I've got 10 shield pennies. And I chose shield pennies because they're just easily recognizable and I built it. It's very, very simple. It's very plain. It's just a block of wood at about a 30 degree angle. And you might notice that I've got two magnets, four magnets, excuse me, on this side, and I've got three magnets on this side. Now I ran a lot of tests to dial this thing in because if you get too many, if you get too strong of a magnetic force, even your zinc pennies are affected by the magnetic field, just like your copper pennies are. And you can see they slow down significantly. What's really cool is if you play with silver, it slows down even more. Nickels, they're only 35% silver, so there's not enough silver in them to slow them down. But dimes, quarters, that's absolutely awesome. I love it, it's so much fun. Now there's pros and cons to this. This is a manual thing. You gotta drop each one and you gotta drop it individually as it rolls down. That takes time. It doubles the length of time for me to search through a box, probably even more than doubles the amount of time that it takes for me to search through a box. Magnets, right? You can't help but play with them. And so I wanted to improve on this process. And so what I did is I saw another video on Facebook where a guy made a coin separator just to separate, I think it was, he was European, so he's doing euros, but it basically would separate pennies from nickels, from dimes, from quarters, and, and so on. And what he did is he built a shaker box out of a fan that came out of a computer. Basically, he took a fan that came out of a computer, I don't have one sitting here, and he drilled a hole in it in one of the blades and he put a bolt on it. And basically, that took the, the center of whatever and it made it made it shake. And he mounted that on a box and basically had it at an angle such as this and it filtered all the coins down here where there was a slot to a rail that went in there. 
automatic feeder. So all I gotta do is dump some coins in. So I'm in the process of testing that, but I wanna show you guys how this actually works. So I've got 10 shield pennies right here, and I've got 10 wheat pennies, cause they're copper, and we're gonna drop them and see what happens. I predict that all 10 of these are gonna go in the box that I have set up and all 10 of these are gonna go in the jar. Now, I've got 10 wheat pennies because they're copper, right? All of these are 1950s, okay? 1942, and I'm gonna get the dates wrong, somebody's gonna correct me and that's okay. I was running some tests earlier and if you get wheat pennies that are older than 1942, it's a different alloy. I believe there's more bronze and so they don't react. They actually react more like a zinc penny does, not like a 90% or a 99% copper penny would. 90% copper penny, 95, whatever the composition is. I don't like to get into that because I get it wrong and somebody can correct me on it. That's fine. I don't mind being corrected. Yeah, so bronze reacts differently and it just doesn't work. So these are 1950s pennies. These are shield pennies. Let's see what happens. So here we go with our test. First, wheat pennies. And now our shield pennies. As you can see, every single one of those shield pennies ended up in the box, and all of the wheat pennies ended up in the jar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it works 100% of the time. Now you have to dial in the distance between your separator and the jar. My separator is sitting on a table at regular table height and my jar is just on the floor right below it. That seems to be about the right height. You notice I was using a jar with a rubber glove in it. Bounce. Bounce is a problem. So I put the rubber glove in there. I tried a couple of different things, pieces of paper, whatnot, to try to control the bounce. It just didn't work. And then that's what this box is for. It bounces in here and it basically hits a backstop. So, you know, it is what it is. It's very low tech, but that was the original goal of this channel two years ago. Low budget, low tech, coin roll hunting. Low budget, low tech, saving my copper in 2020. Now that you sat through all of that, let's do our 700 subscriber giveaway. All right, here is the video. Look at that goofball right there. Here is the video that I had you um, comment on. So what I am going to do, I'm gonna zoom out just a touch so that you guys can see the URL. I am going to grab that URL and I'm gonna punch it in here but we're not going to pick a winner just yet because if you remember not only did you have to comment on my video you had to comment on this video right here so this is silver rookie 18 and you can see that he has 69 comments so it looks like a bunch of you came out that went out there and commented. So what we'll do is we will filter duplicate users. We're going to pick a potential winner because we're going to go out and see if you commented on the other video. Um, and if you did, then you win. If you didn't, then we got to pick somebody else as a potential winner. So let's get our YouTube comments. We have 35 unique comments. Wow, you guys have a good chance of winning. So here we go. We're going to pick a potential winner. That winner is Weasel63. Congrats, Ray. Keep the videos coming. All right. Weasel63, did you comment on Silver Rookie's video? Let's take a look. Here we are. We're going to sort all of these. Sort by, let's sort them by the newest. 
And let's see if we can find Weasel 6-3. That was really fast. Loading, loading. Weasel 6-3. Very cool. Keep the videos coming. Here we are. Weasel 6-3. Keep the videos coming. Silver Rookie said, whoops. Silver Rookie said, Weasel 6-3, thank you, brother. I hope to get more active after the holiday. Already a sub, my friend. So there you go. Weasel 6-3, send me a message. Send me an email. Make sure that I have your mailing address, and I will send you your winnings of a 1970 mint set. And it is a complete set, untouched by human hands. And that 1970 Kennedy half dollar is silver. You can see right there, no copper. That is silver. That is a very, very, very hard 1970 Kennedy half dollar to find in a box when you are coin roll hunting. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for sticking with me, encouraging me. I really do appreciate it. See you guys later. Bye.